Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, I'm going to be smoking some beef ribs. I do it for two and a half hours on the Weber kettle to get a good natural smoke flavor and then finish it off on the Traeger just for convenience. Of course, you could finish the whole thing on the Weber or do the whole thing on the Traeger, but I find that this combo gives the best smoke flavor and combines the convenience of the Traeger as well. So stay tuned and I'll show you how I did it. All right guys, so I got this beautiful rack of beef ribs and probably the best way to get these is to order it online. It's hard to find these in a grocery store. I got these on wildfork.com, but um, any one of those high-end online shops would be a great place to get it. So first thing I'm gonna do is open this up and trim it up a little bit. Sometimes this will have more of a fat cap on here. This one's pretty well trimmed up already, but we just wanna get rid of the silver skin and um, even if it, ha if it has the fat cap, you want to take that off also because you won't get any bark and smoke through the fat. And it's going to have enough intramuscular fat that we won't need it. It's best to have a boning knife, but um, I don't have one. I just ordered one, so it should be here tomorrow. But I just sharpened this on my whetstone, and just to show you how sharp it is. So it's pretty sharp. So we're just going to try and save as much meat as we can and just take off this layer of silver skin here. I think the best way to go about it is <clears throat> get a little nub to hold on to, pull it tight, and then just run your knife right under there. These big chunks of fat you want to get rid of too because they're not going to render. Now we're just going to give this a rub with salt, pepper, and just a little bit of garlic powder. I like to use two parts pepper, one part salt, half part garlic powder. And then we'll let it kind of sit and sweat for about half hour to an hour before we put it on. All right, so we just got four tablespoons of 16 mesh ground black pepper, two tablespoons of salt, one tablespoon of garlic powder in here. And just put the lid on, shake it up, get it all mixed up. And then we could do just a little bit of Worcestershire sauce to help everything stick real light. Don't forget the sides. Now we'll just let that sit and let the salt kind of sweat out a little bit while the grill warms up. So we're also gonna smoke some of this Wagyu beef tallow and I'll put a link from this, you can get this off Amazon. We're gonna use this when we wrap it to add some moisture and also to give it like a final glaze when it's finished. You can do this in like a little aluminum throwaway thing, but I figure it's a good opportunity to add some nice seasoning to the cast iron. So I'm gonna rub it all over the backside of the cast iron and then we'll put maybe about a cup or two inside here to melt and smoke. few cups. And that should be plenty. That's going to melt down. First it'll be clear and then when the smoke hits it'll be this nice like golden kind of honey color. All right we're up to temp. We're about 280 and uh, you can see the Wagyu tallow has melted nicely. We'll just set that to the side and we're just using one chunk of hickory here and I think the trick is to not use too much charcoal because then you really have to choke out the fire and you get a uh, dirty smoke. So go light on the charcoal. We're going to do the first two or three hours in the Weber and then we'll switch to the Traeger for the, the rest of the cook. Go to the thick side towards the fire. Like so. uh, two more pieces of charcoal. Now we're just not going to touch this for the next two hours. Fence over the meat. I got this one halfway and the bottom one two thirds open. We'll check back in about two hours. All right, it's been about two and a half hours. We're gonna take a look at it. All right, looks like we got some good smoke and uh, now it's time to move it to the Traeger and get a little more of this fat rendered. Got it here on the Traeger. Traeger's warming up. I'm just gonna take a little of the 
Wagyu fat and just kind of baste it instead of spritzing it. Just want to kind of drip it on there so we don't mess up our bark. Give this another hour and then we'll check it again. All right, it's been on the Traeger about almost an hour now, maybe 45 minutes. And I've got a half apple cider vinegar, half water. I'm gonna give it a spritz. And also I'm gonna put the uh, probe in now as well. It's actually looking pretty good. I'm just gonna give it a real light. All right, it's been another hour. Let's give it a check. Yeah. Probe temps 177. It's gonna leave it a little bit longer until we render some more of that fat. Then we're gonna wrap it. All right, we're about six hours into this and I think we're ready to wrap. It's feeling really tender. We're at uh, 194 internal. There's just a few spots like right here that aren't that tender. Like right here is this butter. So we're going to pull it off and wrap it and add some of the Wagyu beef towel into the paper as well. That'll do it. We want to end up meat side up. back on for probably another 45 minutes or so at least. All right, we're seven hours in and it's at 2.04 and I think it's done. We're gonna pull it off. It's just uh, like nothing there. Oh yeah. Oh man. Oh yeah, she's done. So now, let's get this paper out of the way. Just a bit of wagyu. I'm just gonna take this in the rest. All right, let's cut this open. Let's see what we got. What do you think, like that? I have to do it like an angle to get a little more on this. Don't look it up. Not a bad angle there. <laughs> oh man, wow. look at that. Dang. Fuck. Looks like brisket. Oh, it smells incredible. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, who wants to be a taste tester on video? Crystal? <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll, 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 sure. we'll do it. I'll grab some A1 just in case it's bland. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you and me. Bottoms up. Eat. Can I cut that in half? Or I can just bite off of it, I guess. Cheers. Incredible. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> right. Have some of that over here, Schneider. You gotta try that. You gotta give me that. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. You gotta eat another one. Mm -hmm. No, a little one. That's, mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's awesome. Yeah, it's well, good. Well, you know how I hate to give you compliments, like but that's Mikey. delicious. All right, that's Do a wrap. <laughs> Okay guys, thanks for watching, and if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button because I've got a lot more things to come, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks a lot. Bye.